Can we see Kurt Loder's uh, Cobain announcement? That's got to be yes, on YouTube, guess, right? Absolutely. That's got to be the biggest thing. I mean, other than that, I don't remember anything he ever did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I just don't. <laughs> was it him that did it? It had to have been him. I think it was Loder. Come on, Loader. You load. <laughs> Loader seems like kind of a load. Loader, yeah. Well, that was the pen name he chose, right? Was it? Yeah, I think it was. Or Loader. Report on a very sad day. Kurt Cobain, the leader of one of rock's most gifted and promising bands, Nirvana, is dead. And this is the story as we know it so far. Cobain's body was found in a house in Seattle on Friday morning. He was dead of an apparently. I just want to say, nothing screams serious news like the MTV news set. That set's ridiculous. <laughs> the purple, the purple cover, the desk cover, that funky green and black background. <laughs> Yeah, it's so busy. With it's a window. Dead. It's so distracting. <laughs> and here's Loader, you know, with important... I got Loader with story. MTV News special report on a very sad day. Kurt Cobain, the leader of one of rock's most gifted and promising bands, Nirvana, is dead. And this is the story oh we've so far. Cobain's body was found in a house in Seattle on Friday morning. He's in the 27 he Club. Self-inflicted <laughs> shotgun blast to the head. From Courtney. Police found what is said to be a suicide note at the scene, but have not yet divulged its contents. Cobain, who was 27, had reportedly been missing for about six days, according to his mother. Yeah. Which was normal. Didn't want to burn out and fade away. He quoted, yeah. Russ never sleeps. That was it. Okay, wait. There's got to be... Uh, what are some other big stories that Loader covered? In the early 90s? Oh, what about Shannon Hoon? Didn't he... Uh... Yeah, Shannon. Might as well do Shannon Hoon. I was going to say John Lennon, but I don't think he was there yet. No. Um, Hooner! Let's see, uh, I don't know what this one is, so we're just going to check it out here. All right. As long as it's news. <laughs> Sad in my news. This is MTV News. For the first time Brand since the so Wham toured here three years ago, George Michael will be playing outdoor stadiums in the U.S. Oh, cool. Breaking news. Final news. leg of his current tour. This He's story is so gay. Days. Where's the Shannon Hoon? Wait, why? Why? Just because... Uh... <laughs> all the shows are 50,000 plus football stadiums. <laughs> this I would not have interrupted the videos for. Just or remote what? control or anything. How is he going to know that Michael's coming to town? Michael Jackson and Whitney Houston. See, this is just a really gay break in general. Singles from Mike, the is it George Michael? <laughs> well, no, uh, Whitney Houston. Oh, wait, what's the story? formation of Led Zeppelin. And the band will be celebrated with a two-day Led Zeppelin extravaganza and record mart in Secaucus, New Jersey. The event, organized by some Maryland Zeppelin fans, will take place September 9th. I gotta say, I don't, be there. I don't remember Kurt Schroeder being this low energy. Boring. <laughs> the extravaganza will include displays of rare memorabilia and videos, plus performances and where's by the Shannon Hoon death loader? Bands, it's too boring. No I think Shannon Hoon wasn't even <laughs> famous at this hand. point. Our magazines entering a new golden age. Yeah, get rid of this. I, I want to see a oh, video or something. I'd rather do our show than watch this. You're channeling the inner 11-year-old me. You might be right, Brandon. I don't know. He's a load. But okay, there's got to be some other major event. What about uh, Bill Clinton impeachment? Wouldn't he do that story and act really important? Like, you know, some major history is made today that uh, all of you young people need to understand. And I'm here to tell about you. I'm Kurt Loader. And I'm a total load. Uh, here's one from 1996. But oh, yeah, this is about Bill Clinton. Here you go. Do, do, do. I'm Kurt Loder with an MTV News Brief. President Bill Clinton was joined at the White House on Monday by law enforcement officials from 17 U.S. cities to announce the creation oh. of a federal computer system, which it's <laughs> hoped will track the sales of guns to juveniles. The 17 cities cooperating. Oh my God, this is boring. They should have broken into this in, with a video. Since all guns manufactured in or imported <laughs> into the United States must bear a serial number and can initially the program be sold director, I would have just hit a video. Dealer. Anything. Your backtracking will be used White to locate lion, I don't care. How would it hit this? program is based on one there to zero this year. Mark, That's the news come on. you got to do better. What? To Mark's look credit. For, uh, I have to do better. I, for best of loader, do I something. Did. To Mark's credit, I can't find any that stick out I, either. It's, it's, it's Kurt so Cobain and that's the most, it. They only put the most boring stories he's ever done online? Well, let's see what, let's see what this, let's see what this story's about. <laughs> The drumming's pretty cool. I'm Kurt Loder with an MTV News Brief. Singer Phil Collins has announced that his 25-year association with Genesis <laughs> is finally over. Go with the Genesis! Uh, he says that he wanted no. to concentrate more on his solo career. I thought as well he was back with him. I thought they did a tour. Projects. I think he also said, I can't believe I'm bald. Best of friends with the other members <laughs> the of Genesis. picture they used <laughs> of Collins. Singer. Keyboardist Tony Banks says the next Genesis album will be, quote, heavier and darker. Ooh, Speaking shot at Collins. Darker, Slayer has replaced drummer Paul Bostaff. What? With what? Deddy, formerly of Testament and Evil Dead. Bostaff. Sources close to the band say was burned out. 
That's the news for now. He we'll was back so with burned, later man. On MTV. Sources said he was burned out. Oh, no. <laughs> Let me try. Uh, should I, you want me to try Tabitha Sorin? Yes. Sorry, hang on. She comes later. Did she? she was, I, she was, I remember her. Tabitha was into the music. I think she really sort of tapped into the younger she demographic. Was the ginger. <laughs> the sound is awesome. I told you. See? Hi, I'm Tabitha Soren with an MTV News Brief. Sunday night, REM bassist Mike Mills made a surprise onstage what? appearance with Hootie and the Blowfish at their gig <laughs> oh, in Raleigh, God, North boring. Carolina. Oh, oh my God. They were no doubt thrilled. They started out as a cover band whose favorite band to cover was REM. Was PD. Meanwhile, Put Michael Sykes' new no. Harmony Single Cell Productions has just bought a screenplay by 17-year-old oh, Santa Monica, oh my God. California high school senior. I, I'm in false sleep. I swear to God. Powers that be. It's about Beverly Hills well, students bomb. who get Nobody South Central L.A. takes the rap scene. <laughs> Tragic results. Production Come may here. start this fall. That's the news for... <laughs> oh, at least she was quick. Oh, oh, they're all that quick. quick. That, that load report, I thought it was Maz doing sports on 105.1 <laughs> for a second. <laughs> Jeez. Let's see what this one is. I don't know. Six Ad World. We need that sound effect. Hi, I'm Tabitha Soren <laughs> with an MTV news? news Brief. Depeche Mode frontman David Gahan was released from Cedar sinai Medical Center okay? in Los Angeles Monday after being admitted for an apparent suicide what? last Whoa. Thursday. Oh, my God! He reportedly found the 33-year-old Gahan We could have lost Depeche LA Mode! With one of his he wrote a really good book, by the way. The band spokesman says that for now, Depeche Mode plans to continue as a group with Gahan oh, and God. that Martin Gore thank has Gahan. already written a bunch of tunes for a new well, album. I'm glad they That's cut in for this. Now, That's it? One story, Soren? Yeah, I think she's, she, I, you know, Loader definitely has that Maz thing where he just wants to be talking, <laughs> even if it is meaningless. Let's see, uh, let's see what this one is. According to published reports, MTV News anchor Tabitha Soren has been romantically linked <laughs> with journalist Michael Lewis. Soren denies the reports, claiming she doesn't have time for a boyfriend because she's too busy pretending not to be stupid. <laughs> 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 oh my that's, gosh that's too interesting I had to talk about AIDS I forgot about this person that was on MTV News boom 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 Hi, I'm Allison Stewart with an MTV News Brief. Oh. Pearl Jam has canceled the 26th and 27th shows at the what? Del Mar Fairgrounds in San Diego, Why? Eddie Vedder's hometown. Band management said it's because the local sheriff complained to the San what? Diego Union Tribune about potential security problems without first oh, consulting the band. Pearl Jam hopes to Pearl make fans are cool, and man. announce Southern California dates. ETM, Pearl Jam's ticket agent, says that all 26,000 fans who sold out both shows will get full refunds in three to five weeks. Pearl Jam fans are cool, man. For now. That was the news More on this and other stories throughout the day. Oh, my God. Oh, God. I'm so glad MTV News is over. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was terrible. Boring. boring. Well, you got to admit, though, they had the best, uh, you know, breaking news sounder. Oh, wait, here's this one. What's this one? <laughs> I love it. We need the sound. Dr. Loader with an MTV News Brief. And reporting oh, that was a pretty clean sounder right there. Wyland's plaint this week that he suffers from the disease of drug addiction. We oh, quoted a Boston Wyland. neurosurgeon who voiced the traditional view that describing voluntary behavior as a disease is a misuse of the word. However, it's worth noting that the American Medical Association considers drug and alcohol addiction to be diseases. I love it when they do heavy news. Constitute Why does he make a rehab story boring? Associated with a potentially bad outcome. Especially a and rock and roll rehab story. No, how can you make this boring, Loader? Responsibility for personal Constantly. That's the news for now. Stay tuned for more throughout the day. What about Waylon's death? Well, it was if much. If there's still a news operation, much later. I want them to become no. unemployable. But they just dropped the news, so they had to have a story about it. It's going to be Allison Stewart or somebody. <laughs> Hi, Kurt Lloyd with MTV News. One of guitarist Dave Navarro firmly on board and drummer Chad Wait, Smith recovered from a broken dead? wrist. The Red Hot Chili Peppers oh, are back in a major way. Yes. Touring the company with Australia's Silver Chair as opening act. Silver Chair. Oh. Up by the Welcome Lads back recently, and here's what we found. Oh my God, this is dreadful. Chad Smith may have been the injured oh, one in the hospital, actual report. but after two months of touring Europe, all the members of the Red Hot Chili Peppers were just about exhausted. Chad no, see, the story's the even tired. No, the like, story's <laughs> about people being tired. How can they possibly make this more boring? <laughs> oh my God.